Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on Snowflake data loading web UI. If you have not gone through my blog on Snowflake bulk data loading hands on, I would suggest you to please have a look on Medium portal. Let's go ahead with the demo. So <clears throat> in this demo, I would like to create a fresh database uh, named as data loading and then I will um, set my context. So let's create that first. So you can see there is no database called data loading. Let me create that and set the context. So on the right hand side, you can see that my role is set up as sysadmin, that's the default one. And the warehouse I've set is compute warehouse, that's also the default one <coughs> I have set. And uh, I've also set the database as data loading and schema as public. On the left hand side, if I refresh, you can see that, okay, I have data loading database now and with the public schema, but there is no table. So let's create one table. So now if I refresh, I can see that I have a table. Now uh, this demo is basically to how to load data from web UI. So I will go uh, click on database icon. I will click on database data loading. Then I will select the background of employee and click on load data. It will open a wizard where I have to go step by step. The first step is to select the warehouse which I want to use to load the data. Then under the source file, I have two options. Either I can select the file from my local computer uh, by clicking on the select file or I can also provide the external stage name and the path if I want. But this, uh, this lab is more to focus on the simple data loading using uh, my local computer. So I would go ahead and click on select file. I will select one file employee01.csv because my file is csv file so I will create the file format which is the next tab so I don't have any file format in my database because I just recently created a database so let's create one file format let me give a friendly name as csv uh, schema would be public Format is uh, CSV because my file is CSV, but if you have any other format like uh, Snowflake support, JSON, XML, Avro, ORC, and Parquet. Compression method, I have selected auto so that uh, Snowflake uh, will sel automatically select the compression required. But if you know about uh, your compression of the file, like you can select the ZZIP deflate and other compression method. Uh, my file is CSV, so I have separator as a comma, so I can I will keep it as a plan, uh, default. But uh, if you know that it is the other than comma, you can select anything from here. Row separator for me, it's a new line, but if you know that that is something else, or if you want to give something else which is not part of this list, you can select go on others and select and type. But for me, new line, I'm good. Uh, if you want to skip the header line, uh, you can skip the header line, then you have to select one. But for me, there is no header request, so I will not select anything. I will keep it as default zero. Field option in close by, say if your data has some single code or double code, you can select. So for safer side, I can select as a double code. I will null string, I will keep it as a blank. I will keep other thing as blank. So let's click on finish. So now my file, file format is created. Let's click on next. Here during the load operation, what will happen if there is an issue? So basically, uh, the first option is do not load any data in the file. Uh, in the file, and the second, the default option is stop loading the moment you see the issue and roll back whatever you have done. Third one is do not load any data um, if you if your error counter exceed. That means basically you can decide the threshold like how much time you uh, how much error you want to sustain, and after that it will fail. So the moment say if you keep the threshold as 10 so the moment you get the 11th error your uh, data load will fail the last one is continue to load the valid data and skip all the issues which what you are getting so basically i will go ahead with the default one i will say load it will take some time to encrypt the file and then load the data into the table yep so i got the data loaded successfully let's go on the worksheet and see whether five records are loaded or not yes so you can see that the data was loaded successfully from the file thank you for watching my video and if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and like and share with your friends
Thank you.